All right. I think that's everything. Ooh. What's that? What's my work bag? Get my work bag out. All right. Welcome to day 25 of Naruto. This um, I have with me today. Lovely, oh goodness, lovely, delicious ice cream, which I'll tell you about later. And we've got a lovely two fried fish in a container, accompanied by a delightful cup of tea, which I'm about to spill if I don't put it down there yet. And a cup of water to finish that off with now before I begin actually no, I'll tell you about this ice cream when I get to it because it is both a tad a tad sad tale but also one of hope oh goodness oh, oh beans disconnected my, com my controller already there we are fabulous right let's just crack straight on into it um with fight number numero uno we got Kiba and no Yamato and young Kiba fabulous all right so what are we at we're at 600 today so we'll probably get down to nine five nine five mm, I'm guessing nine five thirty eight that that's my guesstimation today um but yeah but i suppose yeah just keep 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 going um i think we're about 14 percent of the way i believe um yeah 14 percent of the way there to completion which now that i look at it like oh yeah we've hit 9,000, but we're only 14 percent, which is meh but hey we're getting there we're a percent percent more than we were last week which is the main thing and already estimates are showing that keep up the pace we'll have it all done by october next year not december so we've already shaved off two months thanks to our expediency and efficiency mm. Mm. But I might have to do some catch up, catch up streams, um, purely because over the Christmas period, because um, I think is Christmas Day itself on a weekend or is it on a Friday? A it is a weekend. Yeah. So depending on which days Christmas falls in, and depending on whether we're actually um, at at this house or we're going up to see our parents um, depending on which one it is um, I will have to miss obviously miss a couple of streams but that's fine um, but that just means I need to catch up otherwise but I will still endeavor to finish this by the end of next year there will be no Naruto ultimate ultimate fight series in 2024 I promise you that In fact, it'll be interesting, by the time we do get to 2023, I wonder how many fights we're going to have left. So I reckon on pace, we're on pace to have, to probably be in, uh, definitely in the 8,000s. I don't think we'll hit 7,000, oh, we might hit 7,000 actually. That would be cool if we did. Um, but like I said, we'll see. See how we go. But it'll definitely be like day 173 will be the final one. In fact, actually, having said that, well, I'd actually know what the final day is so on that day, whenever it is, rather than say day 123, um, um, I'll say the final day. <laughs> but, um, and I was just thinking now, um, if I want to go really cheesy, right at the start of the screen just right at the start of the stream and i should hopefully have increased my technical knowledge and capability by that point as well um right at the start before we start i could do that whole um majora's mask uh what's it majora's mask um screen thingy when um 
uh, when the final day starts and it's like, or like, and it's like dawn of the final day. Something like that. I'll totally do that, actually. Um, totally do that on at the start of the last day. Because <laughs> it will be a momentous occasion. I might cry. I probably know. I say I might cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, if I did, it'll be a, I'll be a bit of a baby. But um, I think I'll be crying more so the fact that I've done... Subjected is the wrong word because subjected gives the impression that it's a negative. I would have done 11,000 fights in, in a row. Not all at once, but in a row of Naruto. Um, it will be something that... At the end of the day, it's not like it's not like a the lesso deathless challenge. I'm not I'm not gonna be in no history books, no record books, it's just something I did. Cause why not? But then I suppose when you think about it, I'm sure I'm sure like people who do ranked competitive like Street Fighter and Tekken, I'm sure they do They've done far more fights um, just for the sake of practicing than I ever have in this one. Have I? I've already done the ultimate for this, haven't I? You got your ice cream? Mm Mm. No, not not you. Get out. Here we are. So this is a Sumigetsu and a Jugo fight. It's not law per se. I mean it is, but it's not. So I'll do it in the Rochimaru's hideout. Because I don't think they've got the prison. Oh, it's disconnected. Oh. Only seven seven minutes in. Yeah, I think I think it's something you got to talk to Skitty about. I know it's not a bother, but it's an inconvenience. Not really. it comes on, like, right away. No, but like in terms of in terms of how, because when when I'm streaming and it does it, it treats it as two, as two separate streams. Right. So now, like, it's basically pardon. P4. A P four. Mm. It's a P two. Yes, it's a P2. It's not an outage. Well, it's not... It's a, it's a 10 second outage. Okay. See, and now my viewer's gone. Because they're upset that my stream just died. Well, you're, still, you're back on stream now, aren't you? Yeah. There we are. Back on stream. So, I thought I was so sure of myself that I'd sorted the internet issue. But alas... We have not, and the internet still decides to cut out randomly every, whenever it wants to cut out. Oh my goodness, there we are. Anyway, so apologies for that. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen again for the rest of the stream. When is that? 7.04. I need to start writing down the times that it happens, see if there's any pattern. See if I can like predict when it's going to happen. Because it's getting annoying. But anyway, so we're back on. I'm just going to quickly switch like that. Yeah, we're back on. Back into it. Uh, yeah, I think, I think if... I would be, um, because I'm also curious to see if the other port is technically still active with the other provider. Yeah, but it won't work. You mean it won't work? It won't, it won't work. Well, no, 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 I'm, I'm not saying to use it. I'm just saying if the other, if the other one is active, like if there's two, like, two networks going into the same thing, right. is that, is that what's causing it? That, pardon? No? no? 
Okay, well, do you want to give me their number and I'll call them or something? Right, oh my goodness, I've lost my list again. Oh, this is fabulous. This is going pear shaped all of a sudden. Right. Anyway, so fingers crossed. Doesn't happen again. I might try and finish my fish because I'm dying to have my ice cream. So we've also, so I might as well say about the ice cream now. It's so we have decided that we are the picture of unhealthy, unhealthiness and obesity. Um, therefore, we must um, change our ways and try to be healthier citizens of this fine earth. So we decided that now we're not going to be having full fat chocolatey fruity ice creams we have to have low carb low sugar low fat ice creams with healthy fruits and those sorts of trimmings so um, alas we have i've got my lovely ice cream next to me but it's a low carb low fat ice cream and it's got showered and abs just absolutely showered in blueberries um so that's all fun um, a serving of the ice cream is like two little baby scoops and that's it like so I can't heap it on to the ice cream cone like I used to I'm very upset very disappointed Fabulous. All right. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Wonder what that does. Whether you could he could actually like send those two shadow clones flying. be really actually I'll be really interested to um to see what the if you talk to the like the developers about how they design each character like imagine if the developers are like oh yeah this character is like this like what strategies or what kind of play style the developers reckon you each character is designed for because it would be really interesting to see if there was any kind of um there was any kind of complexity means it sound like there's none at the moment but there is but like if there's anything beyond just um this character you just need to do lots of melee combos with and this character you just want to get off lots of juices like imagine if there was like this character is all about um this character his play style is all about um zipping around trying to get behind um behind the other character to do damage or this one is all about um trying to obscure the um the other person's line of vision um so then you can like dash in and do damage like i wonder if it's if it's anything like that or like choji whether all the chojis, you actually there's a p particular kind of play style that they want you to have, like um, because he's so slow. Is there a way that you can actually use that to your advantage? Because I don't see any. <laughs> Essentially, he's one of those characters that I'm just like I don't see how this character is supposed to be useful in the slightest. Hello. 
lovely. Oh, the other thing too I was thinking of because on my YouTube channel which is more like I'm not doing any kind of like videos or anything made for the YouTube channel it's really just um just as like it's now just serving as an archive of all of these so like I'll have the whole Naruto fight series from it from day one all the way through um just to have that record of them because Twitch is now actually deletes deleting VODs delete them after seven days rather than 14 days now so I'm not an affiliate um but um yeah so I'll be able to still have a record of all of them there so I was thinking what I might do I should you know kind of like similar to the twitch highlights kind of almost make like at the end of all this after the final day kind of make a like a compilation video like one it'd be the most narcissistic thing ever it's it, it'll be like trying to make a film about myself like just like you're imagine like a imagine like a Spielberg making a film about his own life like it would be just full of um full of vanity but anyway so I'm gonna do it <laughs> um, but just really just capture like from day one you know because you'll be able to see like because my setup ugh, like my overlays will have changed setups all changed i'll slowly be introducing all these new things like taking a snapshot of day one versus you know at the end you know my stream might look completely different it might be the, all these sorts of things all the highlights all the low lights all the triumphs and defeats you know all that sort of stuff and then just release like a five two minute two minute thing you know just say like here here is the journey from day one right through to the one right through to the final day just to see you know where we've come from how far we've come oh my goodness lovely thank you all right i finished my my finish my fish and I've just got to finish my cup of tea and then I can start on my ice cream which hopefully has not melted though it hasn't melted which is great so we have found so there is a um there is a, a ice cream brand um called zilch ice cream um and it is so it's like a low fat low carb one high protein one it's not really high protein just normal protein um but, and we were like, oh, this is going to be one of those, you know, typical, like, low fat, this is just going to taste like cardboard with salt on it or something. But, oh my goodness, it is delicious. It is amazing. As far as vanilla ice creams go, like, it's actually one of the better ones I've tried. Um, and they have, like, a chocolate flavor as well. Again, beautiful, amazing as far as chocolate flavors go. And then they also had a mixed berry one, like, whoa. Oh, that mixed berry one. Oh man, it was amazing. But they, I think, I don't know if they fully discontinued it, but they've done something. Um, and it's not, we can't seem to find it anymore, which is, um, uh, has disappointed, hurt, and um, we feel betrayed, essentially. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to crack into my ice cream. Which is more berry, which is more blueberries on top of it than actual ice cream, but hey, if it's all in the service of my insides thanking me for not loading it up with sugar, then one small step for mankind. One small step for mankind. Oh 
almost got him. Wow, get him with the... <gasps> I got him now. Lovely. Mm, and because we still had ice cream cones left over, so we can't eat the ice cream cones. So we just cr like crushing them up and sprinkling them on top. So we're still finishing our ice cream cones. Just not an ice cream cone format. Mm, delicious. All right, where are we? Aruka. Um, second Suchikage. Lovely. I wonder if he's going to get the bump on his head that stays there for like five seconds. It does. They all get steaming bumps on their head. Bruh. Thank you. Easy peasy. Man, what second to Chicago? Lovely. also earlier this week so I've been thinking because tomorrow actually no, this week I should be finishing uh, Stranger Paradise and I should be uh, will finish super actually no, I will finish Stranger Paradise and I will finish super liminal on Saturday so though so I've got I've got them my next games that I'm gonna play so we're still loaded up with games um, but I've been this earlier this week I was looking at more games to play you know so I've, I've got my list so I'm not running out um, and uh i mean final fantasy 14 will always be my backup but that's okay anyway and um so i've got a couple of puzzly games um for saturday saturdays um and a couple of like more like still puzzly elements but like a bit more well, like, not... Essentially, they don't take, like, two hours to finish, kind of thing. Mm. Right, what are we? Third Raikage. And Young Shino. But now, I have to perpetually now, before I play a game, I've got to Google either any scary bits. Because, my goodness. I think it's the whole, like, having the headset on. So I'm not like, um, like my ears are a bit more sensitive to the sounds and the thuds going around. Like I am jumping so much more than I normally would if I was just playing casually on my couch. Like my goodness gracious. But anyway, so I have to Google if there's any scary bits because I need to make I need to know beforehand if I'm gonna cry, um, or if there's any underwater bits. With giant, um, with giant eels that are gonna kill me. And there will be a game. I think it'll be one of my Friday games. I think. I'll actually, see. I'll see how it go. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be a Friday game. Um, that forge. Thankfully, I did look at um. At if there's any scary bits, and while it's not a horror game as such, um. There's a bit. That I would actually start crying because I'll be so scared. Um, let's just say it's not underwater, but it might as well be because there's creatures that would only ever be underwater in like deep, deep sea water. Um, that are just they're just chilling, living their best life. But if they hear you coming, um, Lord, 
they will they will eat you and you there's nothing you can do about it um so i would pr most likely um if i came across that bit and i wasn't under wiser they would come rushing towards me and eat me and i would probably scream and it would just not be a fun time for anyone um but anyway but now that i know i know which where i know what's coming up so i'll be able to finish the game i'm not gonna give up because i'm so scared so that um i'm just thinking when that will be that will probably be uh be after the next because i'll be playing spider-man next after stranger paradise so probably be after that one i'll probably play it but i won't i won't say any more until we get there There we go, lovely. Okay. Yeah, we're in Naruto normal and then Naruto six path. We'll go do that one. Naruto six paths, lovely. Oh no, I'm getting ice cream all over the spoon and then I'm getting ice cream all over my controller. Fabulous. Oh my goodness, speaking of ice cream, oh my god. Was it yesterday we found out about the hotel? Uh, day before. The day before yesterday. Oh, whoa, whoa. So, oh my goodness, my boy gave me the best news the day before last. He was all like, hey, there's an ice cream hotel in Auckland that's just newly opened up and they give you ice cream and i'm like so whoa whoa slow down tell it to me tell it to me slow so in auckland they've opened up a new hotel so the um I th i'm assuming it's a it's not a new zealand only brand the um Mov moven pick so they've got a moven pick hotel and oh my goodness from 259 dollars a night each go to this hotel rooms are hella fancy the bathrooms are hella fancy there's like a super fancy like uh restaurant the place is just all super fancy at i think it's like at 2 p.m on the 13th floor they've got chocolate canapé I don't even know if they call them canapes, but like little chocolate treat master classes you can go to. And then you're like, but where's the ice cream? And well, maybe if you're someone like me who decides at two o'clock in the morning, I feel like a giant Sunday because it happens and it happens frequently. So you're like, huh, what do I do? Oh, I'll just go over here and press the Sunday button on my room phone. And then five minutes later, you get a knock at the door and then you open your door and voila, there's now two guys sitting there or standing there, should I say, with a trolley being like, yo, what do you want on your Sunday? And I'm just like, what? And then, so they will make the Sunday right then and there. They'll, there's like got like caramel ice cream, and they get little biscuit and toffee bits on top and then they put your sauces and it's room service ice cream whenever you want like yes oh it's just amazing so basically 
Um, long story short, um, a new item has been added to the bucket list. Because mm. that is my idea of a great time. And then, of course, knowing me, third night in, at four o'clock in the morning, the guys are going to be like, ma'am, you have spent about $1,000 on room service ice cream. You're going to have to stop. We, we've run out of ingredients because you're eating so much. And I'm like, that just sounds like a challenge to me, buddy. That sounds like a you problem, buddy. You should have more ingredients for people like me. Just saying. Mm. so that is now the destination of choice for me um, who was I just playing as Yagura Lovely. That was probably the, the fastest I've ever managed to get the ultimate to hit with Choji. Oh my goodness. Here we go. No. Bruh. Bruh. There we go. I swear to goodness, this substitution gauge goes up so much faster than mine does. I wonder if that's actually a difficulty affected thing. Oh my goodness, drop my drop ice cream. I wonder if the difficulty actually affects more than just how aggressive their AI is. I'd actually be quite curious to find out. Um, right, Naruto Sage again. And... Uh, you know. <laughs> nice try, lady. Fabulous. Oh, uh, there we are. Ice cream done. Now all I've got left is my drinks, so now I can fully focus. And my hands are sticky and everything's ice cream is just melted everywhere. Fabulous. Well, I think I'll get it with this next one. No, never mind. I'll get it with this one. Ah. There we are. Fabulous. There we are. Ah, right. Let's carry on. I'll be able to update the fights remaining after this. Because oh, now we're down to nine. 
five, seven, eight. It's the return of the soccer ball. That AI just absolutely loves the soccer ball. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Okay, oh, first I will, what are we, seven, eight, so we are five, seven, eight, fabulous, done, bam, bam, ooh, cover to stage mode, ugh, ugh, yuck. That's what I'd actually love to love to know is what Naruto speed runs are like actually, because I think, if any, probably the most interesting ones would be probably well the ones that are a bit more ripe for speed running would be the um, Uzumaki Chronicles on the PS2. That would probably be because it's not. Um, because it's not fights like this, it's, it's a, well, the second one more so than the first one, but it's a bit more, it's missions rather than fights like this, even though there are fights like this, it's generally with, like, not against other Naruto characters, it's kind of like against, like, bandits in the forest or whatever, and you can play as, you can only play really, because it's based on before the time skip, so it's, uh, you know, you can play as... Neji. I don't think you can actually play as Sasuke very much. They kind of like he's. It's, I think back then, especially in games, they kind of treated his character as um because everyone wants to play as him, they sort of lock it down a little bit. Yeah, so then you can play as Neji, Lee, Choji. I think you can play as Kiba. Play Shikamaru. It's all like the main ones. I don't. I think you can play as Kiba. I feel like you can, yeah. And then because the missions are like you're in like a, I don't know, like a, a for an ancient feudal fortress kind of thing. You've got all like your little ramparts and the Japanese style ramparts and stuff. So you'd be like running across them, and you got to get to a bandit at the end. You've got to be the specific bandit after through this labyrinth of all these things, and that's that's what finishes the mission. Um, so it's all that kind of stuff. So I'd like I'll actually be curious to know what a speed run actually is. I might actually Google that now while I do this. Hmm. 
actually we might even see if there are speedruns for this as well like what what kind of categories there are they are fabulous okay so we got uh Uzumaki Chronicles. Oh, people are, go are asking for Uzumaki Chronicles 3. Well, that ship has sailed long ago, guys. Long ago. now lovely uh speed run oh speedrun.com let's see let's see what we got oh it's coming from you are you playing chivalry no um no i'm great ah i was wondering like what the dramatic piano was i, th I swear it was this game but it wasn't i'm like where did that dramatic piano come from Anyway, Uzuma Chronicles 2005. Any percent two hours. Any percent new game plus another two hours. Or two hours 58. So essentially three hours actually. Now I think about it. All missions complete three hours. So there's only about 20 minutes difference between. Um, maybe about 20 minutes difference between a, any percent and a all missions. That's interesting. That's actually really interesting. And there's only two two runners. Oh, is that a New Zealand one? Oh, it is. One of them is a New Zealand runner. Good on them. Oh, that's right. I'm trying to do melee. Well, I shouldn't be doing melee. Do you want to stop jumping around? Well, I'll get him now. And boom. Lovely, jubbly. Right, let's view the rules. Timing ends when Orochimaru's health is at zero. Oh, that's right. You fight Orochimaru at the end, don't you? Goodness, because I have played those games, and I've played them... <sighs> My goodness, when would I have played them? How old would I have been? That's a better one. I've probably still been in... Would I have been in primary? Intermediate. 2005. I would have been in... Yeah, probably an intermediate or at the tail end of high school. No, not high school, primary, I think. I can hardly remember. I can only remember like flashes of them. But nothing uh nothing concrete. Like like it's like it's it's like one of those games where you're like, I know I've played it. If you tried if you asked me to like I couldn't remember more than ten seconds of it, spread out across like five two seconds things but then if you showed footage of it you're like oh yes everything's coming back to me i recognize all of this lovely okay And then we are Young Lee and Choji, Fabuloso.
Okay, well, I'll try and get in the ultimate now. Fabulous. Okay, so now we're going to Google what ultimate, not ult, that is the furthest from the word ultimate I've ever seen. Alt Emat Ninja Storm 4. That's what we want. Okay. Any percent. One hour. Jesus. One hour 19. That's insane. Orochimaru and Roshi. So I'm guessing the one hour 19, that's the. That will be all the story missions, won't it? Wow, that's insane. View the rules. Time starts when you hit start game and ends at collision with Sasuke. Load game. Timer starts when selecting first chapter. If running from console. If capture card, please use life split. Audio must be recorded. Category rules. Should I become a Naruto speedrunner? No, I couldn't. I'm not. I'm definitely not. Not that good. So all chapters. Oh, of course, yes. Because you're not ex actually. Don't actually have to beat all of the chapters in the main story to actually finish. A few of them are actually quite optional. He's just totally stalling, so his substitution fills up. The punk. Lovely. Okay. All chapters. One hour 43. So only half an hour difference between all chapters and non. Adventure mode. Ten minutes. You're kidding me. Ten minutes. Oh wait, what am I doing? And there's literally two seconds difference between the first and second place. That's madness. Because what do you have to do? Adventure mode, you've only got to do random fights here and there. There's actually nothing particularly strenuous about it. Wow. And then the Tales of Boruto is 24 minutes. Survival Cups, 6 minutes. Oh my goodness. Fabulous. Right, where are we now? Suigetsu again. And Nagato. Lovely. Six minutes. You've got to be kidding me. That's mad. Lovely. 
That is mad. I should totally just speed run the adventure mode. <laughs> See if I can shave off. See if I can if I can beat the first place by by a second. Lovely. Uh, oh shit, I don't want that one. That one, lovely, jubbly, jubbly. What other games should we look at the speedrun for? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Conan and Young Tamari. I was thinking, Ben, 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 Ben. I was, th I was thinking for the cheesecake. I might put two, like double and a little bit more. Pardon. I know. I was think I was thinking for the for the gelatin, um, if we put in double and a little bit more. Like two, two, two and a half. Yeah, two yeah, two two and a half maybe. Because and I was also thinking about not putting boiling water in it. Because like when I make the panna cottas, I actually put it in a bowl and I put cold that you say to put like cold water in. And I've noticed that it doesn't actually start like firming up um, when you do it. But then I'm hesitant because I'll be like, there's a reason why they've said boiling water in the recipe. I know mum's always made it with boiling water. So I think what, what we'll do is if we'll put two and a half, but two, double the mix in a little bit more. And then what I might do is like just before we put it in, I'll get you to make it up and then tip it in like straight away. So it doesn't start to like set in the cup. Like it doesn't start to sit in the cup, which I think then will be able to help help it be more gelatinous in the cheesecake. That's that's my theory. Hopefully, it all goes well. Because now that old thing my Bob's um thing my Bob's gone, I need to uphold the cheesecake name at work. Cause cause um. The other thing in Bob is like he's like, um, oh, it just seems like anyone who brings in anything cheesecake or cheesecake related, they always lose on their bake off, and I'm like, not me. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna absolute win. So basically, to give y'all the rundown, so so the bake off at work. So we've had four rounds already. First round was. Yo-yo uh, biscuits and a banoffee cheesecake. The biscuits won um, because people thought that the cheesecake was too like wet and sloppy. And apparently, I found out that some people, even though they you're supposed to be voting on taste, creativity, and presentation, people are voting. Uh, people's votes are being swayed and biased and corrupted um, based on how easy it is for them to like how easy it is logistically and mess wise for them to eat so as soon as something goes sloppy they're like downvoted 
I'm having to work too hard to eat this and I'm like what would I actually expect of corporate people this is what I'd expect but anyway so round one the cheesecake lost round two was gluten-free and dairy-free double chocolate fudge brownies I think it might have been dairy-free I can't actually remember it was definitely gluten-free it might be gluten-free and vegan anyway um uh your brownies and a lemon cheesecake and I only because I was away that day um, I only got to try the, the remnants of the lemon cheesecake when I was in. I'm like, oh, this is delightful. This probably won. No, the brownies won. So that's round two for cheesecakes. Gone. And then, so then this week on Monday, round three, there was carrot cake muffins um, and brownie or cheesecake brownies. Um, so there was like brownie mix, but I had kind of like a cheesecakey, eggy mix like swirled through. Um, and these are like carrot cake muffins, which actually were delightful, absolutely delightful and delicious. Um, I've actually got the recipe of the, <laughs> I got the recipe of the guy who made them, um, cause they were that good. Um, and yeah, so they won. Um, so the cheesecake or cheesecake associated thing, um, won or lost yet again so then someone at work is all like huh it seems that anytime anyone brings anything with cheesecake or a cheesecake associated product they are not winning their round so does that spell bad news for me and my cheesecake next week possibly but I am determined to let the pita for the people at work to see the light they will see the light and realize that cheesecakes are to die for. Because I'm also up against my boss. And I was talking to her the other day and um, she, I was like, oh, you know, excited for some bacon this weekend. And she's like, she's like, huh, no. And I was like, oh, are you, are you not confident? And she's like, she's like, well, my friend, my friend from the States has given me, given me a recipe. So I have to try and find like the equivalent ingredients that we have in New Zealand. So, so I don't know, don't know what it is. I, got no idea what what kind of thing she'll make um but she she doesn't seem confident but whether she's doing that to like for like the whole psychological play possibly um but basically as soon as people see another cheesecake i don't know if they're going to be like oh or they're going to be like is this the one that's going to redeem because i have to redeem i have to redeem cheesecakes because these people are failing at producing a nice cheesecake or a cheesecake that is winning over the masses. I need to, like, you know, they're giving cheesecakes a bad name. I need to make them all see the light. But from from the results of our practice one, there are a couple of a couple of amendments that we're going to make. And fingers crossed, because we actually haven't practiced those amendments. Uh, fingers crossed, it all goes well. And we haven't just completely ballsed up um, our cheesecake idea. And it's going to be the most horrendous inedible stuff. Which definitely won't. But um, the possibility is always there. Anyway. Han and Young Choji. God, it's just Choji Town, isn't it? Is it Choji Town? No. It's... Something Town, anyway. Lovely. So basically, our ambrosia cheesecake. I'll actually tell you. I might as well tell you the amendments. So last time we made it, we did. We followed the recipe. The recipe was stupid, and that the amount of biscuit mix that they tell you to make is nowhere near enough. Like it is the most horrendous ratio of biscuit to mix that I've ever seen. So I had to make double the mix to actually be able to f to line the bottom of my tin. Anyway. So, well, that was a crisis averted. So I made that, made the mix. We put marshmallows and frozen berries in the mix as well. Um, and then garnish with flake on top. So the amendments that we're going to make, because we reckon that, that the mix itself is too wet and it's just like, it's at risk of falling apart when people cut into it. Actually, no, it's not at risk. It will fall apart when people cut into it. And if people are downvoting on how messy something is, 
um, A, they're stupid because that's not what you're voting on. But hey, who am I to judge? Um, actually, no, I am judging, so I will judge. But uh, so I need to make sure that it stays together as much as possible when people cut into it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to double and then a little bit more of the gelatin because there's only, I think, only like two teaspoons of gelatin that goes into it. Maybe even one teaspoon of gelatin. Anyway, a little a little bit of gelatin goes into it. Um, so we're going to double that. Um, and also what might be contributing to the sloppiness is the frozen berries will be thawing out in the mix and all the water juice that's coming off of them will be watering down the mix so i'm gonna keep the frozen berries out i'm gonna buy what we're gonna do is we're gonna get like some like nice chocolate and we're gonna like smash it up in the bag with the like the rolling pin to get all like the tiny little chunks in it and we're gonna mix that through the mix with my we're gonna keep the marshmallow there um, and then for the garnish garnish on top might keep the flake a little bit but also put some like nice like fresh fresh fruits and fresh be fresh berries on it, um, and dry them out a bit so so, so they're not gonna um, water down the thing. And the presentation is gonna be absolutely delightful. It's gonna be the best presentation ever because these people they're just like when they say oh you know you can be judged on your presentation. It's like they're bringing stuff in as if it's like the morning tea on a Friday. It's like guys. Am I the only one that has taken, like, I am thinking of this as, like, imagine you're on MasterChef. Like, I am taking it that seriously. Like, I am, if this is going up in front of Gordon Ramsay, that's how serious I'm taking this. I might be taking it too seriously because at the end of the day it's just a bake-off at an office in the middle of a city of which, is, of which there are hundreds of offices. But I'm taking this seriously and I will win. Because if I don't, then I've brought shame upon my family and shame upon my clan. Because I need to go. I have such the most amazing finals idea. Well, it's actually, it's, it's yet another cheesecake. But it's no, another cheesecake that's going to absolutely rock their socks. Um, and I have to be able to do it. Like, I have to be given the opportunity to do it. Um, because I just need to. Lovely. Is your game crashing? Ben. I think he's got his headphones in. Lovely. I just, it's just so weird. I just can't help keep thinking that that's like, it's like a 12 year old boy that's turning into a bunch of big bob women. Like, why? completely forgot there for us to just completely mentally blank there on a second on which character I was playing as but we're fine we're back into it bam okay 
Okay, what do we got now? Han again and Young Kankuro. Mm, mm, that's okay, but first. But first, I think we're down to 60. Pretty sure we're down to 60. Yeah. There we are. Fabulous. And now we're Han and Young Kankuro. I'm absolutely dreading playing as Young Kankuro because he's awful to players and I hate it. I hate him. I think it's either it's still a toss-up between him or um, old Ten Ten about which one I'd, I'd I least prefer playing as. Or maybe even Choji, Young Choji. Young Kankuro, Young Choji or adult Ten Ten. I even hate playing as Young Ten Ten just because it feels like I'm absolutely doing no damage to her at all like the characters feel weak I don't like it when they feel weak okay Yeah, at least got him with that straight away. Wow. At least like in the in the side scrolly ultimate ninjas, when like when you play as Kankuro, so he keeps Crow with him the entire time. He doesn't actually send it out him out he kind of just like always keeps him around him attacks with him obviously but like he never moves away from Kankuro's main body and it's so much easier to play as Lovely. My skills are not on your level because they're lower than your level. Okay, what are we? We are Kakashi. And second Suchikage. Lovely. Bam. Oh, easy peasy. Kakashi's like well, he's one of those characters in all the Naruto fighting games. It's one of those characters, just like it's like an old reliable, like he's never he's never first choice to play as but when you do play as him you're like he knows what he's doing he's easy he's, he's like easy to play as attacks feel strong they look cool 
it's just like a, it's just always a good time. Does your game keep crashing? Sorry? Does your game keep crashing? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Have you got too have you got too many mods? Alright. Smash and then boom, boom, lovely, lovely, jubbly. Okay, now we've got Kankuro versus himself. Whoa. I do like it, I do like his outfit in the Kage Summit. Ooh. Okay, this will be really weird, but that that purple hue that they've got, it's now just reminding me of like a blueberry chocolate ice cream. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about when I'm seeing it. God, we're at a bloody impasse now, isn't it? Bloody hell, you don't even know what chakra strings are which. Lovely. It's absolutely pitiful damage, but hey. Oh dear. Oh beans. Oh beans. Oh lovely. Oh lovely. Oh lovely jubbly. Hey. Hey. Stop. There we go. Ah oh, screw it. Okay, now we're Naruto Sage in Naruto Last. Naruto the Last. Oh, no, no, Sage, not Six Paths. Do you know what I've just realised again? I think I've, I've I've gone cocked it again. I really need to change my wording. I think the um, the fight that I did with Eno, I'm pretty sure I did with the six paths, and it should have been Naruto Sage mode like this. So I think I probably need to change my wording to be Naruto Toad and not Naruto Sage because I'm because I think because. Ka Ka Kabuto Sage, Madara Sage, and Obito Sage, even though they're Ten Tails Jinchuriki, but I'm just calling it Sage for the purposes of myself, uh, because they're all kind of like the final forms of them. I'm also thinking that same way for Naruto, was actually six paths. So I think I'm mucking up my own, I'm mucking everything up by 
calling this version Naruto Sage. I think I should probably call him like Naruto Toad or something. Ah, beans. But that's fine. I can sort that out. I'll actually just double check that. Oh, I think that might be the only one. Yeah, I think that might be the only one. Because I'll be able to check back <laughs> and see <laughs> which one I did do. Because I think I've got a funny feeling I did the same thing for Foo. Lovely. Yeah, I've got a really funny feeling I did it as well for the foo fight. But we'll see. We will see. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, now we're young Eno and young Kiba. Two of the young characters that I do not mind playing as. I think the only young characters I don't like playing as. Oh, clip my back. Uh, young Choji, young Shino. Young Kankuro. I don't mind Young Gara, but I'll probably put him in my B tier. My A tiers are my Sasuke's, my Lee's, probably my Kiba's as well. And that's purely just like the ease, ease of, of, of being able to play them for me. Like ones that favour just hard and fast play styles. I play my Naruto like I play my Pokemon. Just as many damaging moves as possible. Just try and kill them fast. If you can kill them fast, then they can't damage you. This is going on so much longer than it needed to. There we go. There we go. That could have ended so much faster. Oh well. Do you know what I've just realised too? Is that some of the... Um, the way that they've done the character models when they're all like scratched up is uh, the like scratch effects on them. Some of them, they must be like, I don't even know how to, how to say it, but because I just noticed that some of the scratch marks on her hand were like moving up and down like off her hand, almost as if it was like 
like right in the foreground and the actual character models and layers underneath it and I'm thinking like what it is is that was actually scratches that were on her um on her vest tunic what even is her outfit um her hoodie um and they were actually yeah things that were supposed to be on there but you could see them th through the hand if that made sense it was odd so even how they've done the scratches on the character models is weird but again something i haven't noticed until i'm like two thousand three thousand five thousand fights and through playing this game the things you learn Okay, now we're Mifune and Madara Arena Mission. Yes. So I'll see, I'll see if it's actually, if I do get a scratched character model. I'll actually see if it's the same thing because I'm pretty sure I also noticed it on I want to say on Shino as well I noticed it. I'm certain of it. Lovely. Fabulous. Okay. Now, mother. Keep that the same. So one thing I did notice, because it turns out I have already go goofed, but I think I might eventually fix the goofs, hopefully, before I get to like the last 20 fights remaining. So. I noticed that there was actually a discrepancy of four fights between what I had in my fights remaining and the fights that I've actually logged on my spreadsheet. And what that the discrepancy was is that I'd actually done there was actually four fights that I had done on my sheet. Well, fights that I'd done on my that I'd tracked in the spreadsheet but weren't actually accounted for in the fights remaining because like when I went to go into the min in the spreadsheet they were all the they were already blank filled in so in fact does that actually mean because I'm just trying to trying to piece together the maths whether I actually need to drop my fights remaining or keep them the same I think I've got to go up, don't I? No, I don't need to go up. I'm so confused. See, now I've got to try and like work out. I mean, I could at the end of the day just leave it right to the end because then I'll be able to, when I'm in the last 10 fights, I'll be able to work out how many fights remaining I should have or not. But, yeah, so essentially there's four fights that I've done but I hadn't like marked them as done 
on my in terms of the fights remaining no that's wrong So essentially, I've actually still got really, like really, really, I've actually got 9,560, well, that number on the screen should be 9,562, really, really. I think, if my maths are correct, I think. In fact, it should actually be 9,564. Or, because if I find another discrepancy, that's the it. So basically, if I if the if my four fights discrepancy, if they were if they were like the same thing, I had done the fight, marked it as as complete, put it marked the two down in my fights remaining, and then when I did the fight again. I'd marked it down again on my fight screen, so I need to go up again. Oh my goodness, my head's hurting. I could just really, the simplest option would be just to leave it, just to leave the fight's remaining number as is, and then when I get to like the last 10 or the last 20, when it all becomes clear what's, what number it should be, I just bump it up at that particular time. I think. I think. I mean, it would be an absolute miracle if I hadn't screwed up the maths at some point. Like, wouldn't be an absolute goof if I'd done my maths wrong, or I'd like looked at the, or I hadn't included a particular Excel row or column when I saw how many fights I, to I had in total. Um, And then actually it's not even, there's like a whole like hundred fights that I've missed or I've done a hundred more fights than I need to. Wouldn't that be the true goof? There's actually like a thousand, like two thousand fights that I didn't have to do. Wait, no, that, that wouldn't work. Or actually no, no, not that I haven't got two thousand fights, but like actually the number should actually be like seven thousand five hundred and sixty. I don't mind if he dies. I'm not he's he's not gonna use awakening mode, I can tell to say that much. Eh meh. Okay, now we have Karim and Madara Rilamasion. Lovely. Should I actually get him most of the way dead. Yeah. Oh. I guess I no point just trying to kill him with Kuna. I'll just punch him. That might do the job. Oh, and yes, 
so I decided to buy some random things online when I say random they're not actually random so we bought so I got my package came yesterday we get it we get it delivered to work um, just because it's it's easier and it's actually faster if it gets delivered to a business address than not but anyway long story short got my package yesterday oh very excited so I got a hole punch very exciting very exciting because I want to start like a life admin folder so when I say like life admin I mean like any bills or letters that come in any insurance payments that we need to make or uh, ma like appliance manuals or all of these sorts of things that you know are life admin sort of things I want to keep them all in a giant folder and for that I need a hole punch anyway so I got my hole punch I got some Lord of the Rings tea towels um, very nice, very nice. They um, actually look too good to be used. It's kind of like when you get those journals with the really, really nice paper or the really, excuse me, or the really, really nice cover, and you're kind of like, I don't want to touch this because I'm now like tainting perfection. But anyway, so I got some tea towels, two of them. They're very lovely. I've already used them because I bought a third thing vegetable spiralizer because I'm thinking how do we get more vegetables into our diet well one thing we do hate is prepping vegetables but how about we prep vegetables in a fun way so um, I got myself a spiralizer because then I was also thinking we eat a hell of a lot of pasta uh, and what's a healthy alternative for pasta vegetables <laughs> so and then I'd heard of like because you oh, actually no not I've heard I've actually had like you can buy for you can buy from the um buy from the supermarket these like zoodles like zucchini noodles or sweet potato or in New Zealand we call it kumara um but uh you know kumara noodles and all these sorts of things and I'm like well because it's not just those we can spiralize, we can spiralize everything we can spiralize. <gasps> Courgettes, we can spiralize potatoes, we can spiralize carrots, we can spiralize apples, we can do whatever we want with them. Anyway, so I bought one of those. I bought like a little handheld one that you can get. Um, so I tested it out yesterday with some potatoes and I realized that the what I thought was a courgette at the supermarket, because it was in the courgette bin, turned out to be a cucumber <laughs> uh, so anyway so I had a cucumber which I tried to spiralize and didn't work very well but anyway so spiralized some potatoes and they were very delicious um, although having said that we did um, underestimate the prep like cooking them we started to try and cook them in the pan with some oil but that didn't work because they were just taking too long to cook and then they were kind of like turning into like hash brownie mix but anyway um, and so then we're like okay we'll, we'll put them in the oven um so then we put them in the oven and then like half an hour later they're still like slightly wet and not cooked through so i'm like okay this is this is not gonna work um so but anyway but it was what it was and we had some chip or you know they're meant to be crispy chips but they ended up being like slightly half soggy strings of potato um but i did what i could and i think it was for a first attempt it wasn't too bad next time i'll be able to perfect it and we'll actually have some crispy chips but at the end of the day my spiralizer worked um and so now that's ow, so now that's going to be um when people are like hey let's have some spaghetti for tea and i'll be like no 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 we're gonna have carrot doodles for, for instead of pasta and they'll be like what and i'll be like try this and they'll be like wow this is amazing and i'm like ain't it just and we are super healthy as well so we feel good about ourselves so my, my spiralizer i'm gonna be coming up with all these spiralizer recipes gonna be fab okay so I might update the list because now we're down to 43 lovely jubbly drop my microphone down so I don't absolutely inundate everyone with sounds um, what are we next we're at full and young sakura
probably. Because then basically what I've done is I've convinced myself that because I've got the spiralizer and because I can make all these vegetable noodles, basically in about two months time, I'm going to have lost 100 kgs and I'm going to be the health. I'm just going to be the absolute image of health. All because I bought a handheld vegetable spiralizer like that. That is the dream I'm selling myself in my head. If it works then I can sell um, my here's how to lose weight quick guide for about $10,000 um, ring out <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so I can sell my here's how much weight I lost pay me a thousand dollars and I will take you on a three month program so you can get fit in three months and um, they'll pay a thousand dollars for me to tell them to buy a vegetable spiralizer and then vegetable spiralizer companies can sponsor me to advertise their products that is my tr that is my uh, get rich quick scheme all because I decided to buy a vegetable spiralizer Oh my god, I put all those things down and then I lured her away from away from them. Oh come on. What? <sighs> I could be ass on that. There we go. Thank you. Lovely. I reckon one more. Thank you. Lovely. That actually, that does a hell of a lot of damage. In fact, it does far more da damage than it should. I think. I think. Okay. Then we'll get Shino and Young Shikamaru. I know what EK means, I think. I think it means attack or go. One of the EK means attack or go because Duel Masters, when Duel Masters was a thing, um, I remember I got, um, what did I get? Where did I even, go? I got a feeling I got it from McDonald's, but I don't think I did. And I think I got, I got it from one of the school fairs, like the school book fairs. Um, no, I think yeah, I think I definitely got it from a school book fair. Is it there or the warehouse? But anyway, um, I got like a little uh, little book which I actually still have. I'll probably bring it out sometime. Um, with uh, all like all kind of like the cards and the base sets, um, and all the and the expansions as well. But then right at the start, because it was um, at right at the start, it had like some information about uh, about that. I'm guessing it was an anime. Yeah, guessing was anime. But anyway, um, had some information about that, and it also because when you play Duel Masters, you're not you don't just play cards on the ground. You, you know, you don't just do that. You actually ha there's lingo involved. Like you actually have to say certain things. Kind of like in chess, you have to say checkmate or check. It's kind of like that. So what you have to do is when you go is when you attack, like like your um like your when you tap tap your card to put it into attack mode. Um, you have to go like Ike like that and then and then when you're doing the final blow um, to a to a character so when you're doing the checkmate 
um, you have to say Tudumida. And then you go like, and then you're supposed to do like a cool like thing, th- thing with your attack card to kind of like rub it in your opponent's face that, that you've just beaten them. And so it comes, it says it has all this lingo in the book. I actually might, I actually might pull it out. I think, do I have it down there? I'll be two seconds, two seconds. I realise it's still in all the boxes that we haven't even unpacked, so next time. <laughs> anyway, so had had all that sort of stuff in it that you that you you have to do because even though they don't say you have to do it, basically you have to do it, um, or else you haven't won if you don't say to Um And um, and it was just it was just such a it was great. And then uh, you know had had what what who your sensei is and. All that sort of thing. I don't think it had senpai. I don't think it had sen- or No, it did actually have senpai, actually, I think. Now I think about it. No, it did. Um, but yeah, but it was great. I loved Duel Masters when it came out. It was one of those, like, it was one of the, the failed trading cards, trading card games. And I think probably because it was, like, a mechanically, it wasn't similar to Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, you had, what did you do? You had five cards... Basically, the top five cards of your deck became your shields. And so you had five shields. Some cards, kind of similar to trap cards, you had five cards that if they were a shield, they, an effect, like basically there's an effect that that can take effect um, when that shield is destroyed. Um, Because, so you kind of have your cards laid out, your opponent can't see what's on either side of them. When they attack, they're attacking one of your shields. And so, obviously, when a shield breaks and it flips around, or, you know, goes to the graveyard, you can flip it. If it's got a shield break ability, I don't know if you, even if it's called shield break ability, but the equivalent, um, it's, uh, you know, can do certain things. So you'd have that, and then, you know, so you'd be able to... Basically, each card had a... You'd have your five cards in your hand, and to play cards, you had to have mana. And to have mana, you had to basically you can play a one. I think it was only one card you could play a turn, and you play it upside down. And when it's played upside down, like that's it. Like if it's a creature, you can't suddenly turn it into not a creature, or yeah, you can't 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 suddenly play it now. Turn it from mana into a creature. Like once you play it, you play it. And so one of one card, I don't think there was ever any instances where a card actually gave you two mana for it, but generally all the cards, you know, they give you one mana. So you play your one down. And then you can tap, I think you can tap um, all the all your mana cards that you have to then summon um, summon another, you know, a creature or I think in fact they were all creatures. They didn't have anything like spell cards or trap cards it was literally just creatures the whole time i think i'm positive in fact i can't uh, I'm no i lie there is some cards you could play anyway um yes yeah, so you do that and then so your creature can attack can attack i think you can do more than one creature can attack per turn pretty sure and then basically you just try to destroy all, all your car- um, all your opponent's shields and then when you've destroyed all the shields the final attack against them is um, thing. I think, oh, actually no, you can have character, it's like Magic the Gathering and that you can have character or monsters blocking, blocking attacks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. And that was pretty much the gist of it actually i think there was there was fusion was it fusion or evolution no there's evolution cards where like it was it i feel like it was i feel like there's a card that can like say you've got like a mantis type or like a beast type 
or like an insect type no mantis type card and then there's like a i think there was a card called gigamantis or whatever and it's got like a little shiny evolution symbol and you can evolve a mantis creature into that one somehow can't remember the, the can't remember the circumstances of it i really want to see if i've got all those cards Right, next time I do Naruto, I'm going to give an introduction into my Duel Masters collection. Because <laughs> it will be, so it will be Naruto and Memory Lane <laughs> for me. Because <laughs> I've, I've still got all my Duel Master cards. The end, the anime was, I thought it was fire. But then again, I was like eight, seven or eight. Um, the... Uh, PS2 game that came out with it um, was also that was a solid game or at least what I remember of it, it was, I just remember it as being a solid game um, and quite a long game actually too um, yeah I just and like like the creature designs I liked um, it wasn't a case of like Magic the Gathering where oh, I suppose to a degree I suppose there is but um like Magic the Gathering, each colour is like obvious strategies you're meant to employ. Like uh, red cards are small creatures, but lots of them deal lots of damage very quickly. Um, blue is more strategic. Um, you know, you're you're in there for the long game. It's all about making your opponent lose cards, countering cards. Um, putting up walls and flying creatures and all that sort of thing. Um, white is flying creatures and things with like strong defenses. Like your blocking, your blocking creatures are quite good. Um, and you could sort of this sort of mid, like in terms of costs, like card costing. Um, white and blue are so mid range. Um, greens are like high costs but really really strong creatures like you get like a 13 attack two defense um uh mammoth but it costs like 10 mana which is essentially almost like 10 turns worth of things to add before you can play it and then black is similar to i'd say white black white and black and blue and black are all mid range but they're very much um like similar to red and that they're lots of small creatures ish but they're all focused on just destroying creatures so it's all death touches and um all, all that sort of thing yeah destroy destroy target permanent sort of thing um yeah whereas uh Dual Masters, they had the colour, they weren't red, blue, whatever, they were fire, water, earth, <laughs> light and dark. Um, the civilizations, actually, that's what they're called, because law wise, these, um, you know, there was a light civilization that all those creatures are from. So they're all buddies with each other, essentially. <laughs> um, and the same with the fire and the water and things. I think, oh, actually, no, I don't think it's the case that they're all buddies, but just, you know, that world or whatever um anyway um, oh my god i even remember all like the symbols for them too <gasps> yes oh my goodness anyway we're gonna discover that all on sunday morning when i reminisce um okay now we're eno again and foo again oh my goodness is that the same pool of characters over and over. Yeah, but I think I think it was definitely one of those. Yeah, it was a failed training card game. I sort of it kind of just 
stopped being a thing. Like, whereas Yu-Gi-Oh! and I suppose Pokemon, to an extent, have just, and Magic the Gathering, have just endured. And I think that's probably, probably because they had enough variation. I think it's probably, it, it's probably there was so many different kinds of effects that cards would have. So many different kinds of cards, like the breadth of what you could do with the game's mechanics was there. Whereas in Duel Masters, it was actually very limited to what you could, like what the mechanics could possibly allow. Um, if that makes sense. So like Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, so you had spell cards, you had trap cards, you had fusion cards, ritual cards, you had gravers, you could sacrifice cards to do this, you could, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Um, you had cards that would, could do stuff to your life points, that would, you know, activate trap cards, dispel trap cards, counter trap cards, activate spell cards, resurrect, do fusion, do all of this, all of this sort of stuff. And that was just at the super, like, basic level. Then you had trap or, no, because then you could play, you could play um, monsters face down, and then when you flip them face up, some of the characters, some of them would have an effect. All this sort of thing. Magic the Gathering, just oh my god, the amount of rules in there is now is just unbelievable. But again, like the breadth that you could do, you could strategize effectively. Whereas Duel Masters was very much if you had amazing cards in your hand. I mean if you if you want to be able to play them you've got to start using some of them as mana and then you're potentially having to give up a good card purely because you need something to be able to play your other good cards whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh you know you you can use your your lesser monsters you can sacrifice your lesser monsters to you know be able to play your good ones Magic the Gathering mana you know stuff cards and land that add to your mana pool are completely separate to monsters um so it's yeah there was that segregation whereas in dual masters there wasn't and i think just because of that well it might not be just because of that um but i feel that it was probably one of those games especially for young kids oh actually no even then even then I say, I say like young kids would get bored of it, but I mean young kids play Fortnite, but mm, anyway, not making a statement there. Um, uh, yes, I think when I think in hindsight, you know, what would have what would it have been about that game that just made it just not be a thing? And it's probably that when I think about what the mechanics actually did. Just didn't give enough enough you could do with strategy unless when I look at the cards and I'm just completely talking out of my butt and I look at the cards I'm like oh geez there's actually heaps of opportunities to strategize here um, yeah but also too because I mean you had five shields I don't think there was ever I can't remember if there was ever any cards or any anything that you could restore shields from. I'm pretty sure there wasn't once, yeah, once one's down that set. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, life points can go up. Uh, Magic the Gathering, health can go up. You know, your 20, 20 health points, they can all go up, up and down. Whereas Duel Masters, once your shield's gone, that's it. I think. I... Oh yeah, you got him. Bam, bam. 
Jeez, that does a lot of damage. That almost does like more damage than Kokoro's ultimate. It's mad. Okay, what are we? We're A and Han. Back to our back to the usual pool of characters again. Nice diversion. Ugh. Okay, so I reckon after these two I'll do one more set of fights. And that should be us. Of course, it like stops right before he gets to him. Oh, come on! I suppose it's probably the trade off when you've got strong characters that are naturally physically strong that they just take ages after an animation to finish stand it up here we go bam weak absolutely hopeless stupid why you even bother Fabulous. Bam. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, two more fights, and that should be us. So we are Sasuke, Taka, and Conan. And we'll end on a Sasuke, so we'll do the Conan first. Lovely. Bam. Fabulous. I think I'm getting slowly, 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 slowly. I'm getting better at knowing how, what's the best, like, what's the best moments to try and to be able to get, to get the ultimate to hit. So ones like oh, uh, Toby with the white mask. Um, maybe Choji ish, but adult Choji ish. Um, uh, that sort of thing. Um, what else? What's another one? Nagato to some degree, Itachi to some degree ish. Um, while waiting for people to chakra dash in others is you basically try and get them as soon as they stand up from being knocked down like that um, that sort of thing
Let's get her on this one. Bam. All right. Easy peasy. Lovely. Okay. So what I might do is I might. So first we're going to update the list. I think she's down to 27. So we did far better than I thought. Lovely. Jubbly. Okay. I think I'll leave it here. Um, thank you very much for joining. Uh, we are normal week this week. Uh, Strange Paradise will be finishing tomorrow. Getting on to Spider-Man. Miles Morales. That will be tomorrow. Super Liminal will be finishing off on Saturday. Getting into the Forgotten City. Sunday will be day two. Day 26 of Naruto will be down in the 9,400s, which is fabulous. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, hope you had a fantastic time. Hope you have a fabulous morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I'm not saying evening anymore because night's a bit more, covers a broader span of time. But anyway, um, hope you have a fabulous morning, afternoon, or night. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.